Hello guys, this is Nareen Moria from Codebook and Corporations and in this video tutorial I am going to talk about variables in PHP. So if you remember in my last video tutorial I just went to I just took you to, this, to the installation process of PHP on Macintosh computer uh, but if you are Windows you can go for Linux also as well as MAMP is also available. So you can follow my link in the description to go ahead and get install uh, get started with installing PHP in PHP environment in your system. So I created this directory in my MAM documents, which is MAM folder, that is stdocs directory, and this directory is similar to that the XAMPP also. And make sure MAM or XAMPP server is also running. So this is my Apache server as well as MySQL server, which is currently running there. So if I go to my PHP Essentials folder, I just created this empty blank PHP page which I'll be opening in my favorite code editor that is Visual Studio Code. So if I go to my launcher and I go to my developer tools option uh, which I have created VS Code. So this will open up in a directory, uh, in that directory only because I have just created a few to don't if you want to open it again you can go for control o, command open or control open and here i have php essential photos so this will just open my directory so currently i have just commented these things about the variables so let's get started for example so first a variable is like a container which holds your value or information information in it and which can be used according to your programming need as well as you can perform various inbuilt functions which are available in the php on your variables so let's get create let's go start and create some variables so for example i have something with a text to initialize a variable we can simply write text with a dollar sign and this is my first sentence uh, make sure you end every line with a semicolon because that tells to the PHP interpreter that this line is ending over here. So if I want to just print this line out, I will simply say echo dollar text text and if I save and I reload my page, I have already I have opened this page over here and you can simply if you're on windows you can simply if your mam server or zam server is running you can simply get rid of this triple eight because on mam it runs on port eight triple uh, four times eight so if i reload and it will say this is my first sentence so if i go ahead and let's create more variables so for example this is a number type variable which is around four which is uh, four and one more thing you can also take out the like I want to get a line break there so I can simply write HTML tags we can pass HTML tags like a, it's line break and if I echo out this thing over here and it's like echo dollar x and this will echo out the value which is 5 if I reload we have 4 over here and which was just the result of this line which we echoed out over here so this thing is not passed but the whatever we echo out that is going that is passed over here so next thing is like if i want to let's go and create one more variable that is like dollar like we can say simply y and its value should be around 23.5 and it's kind of double so if i echo out echo and let's see without using this break tag what happens echo y and if i save and reload this page we will see it's saying 40 43.5 because php doesn't know that we have went to next line so we have to specify php that we are on the next line so for that we can simply write one more ending break tag we can copy it out and paste it over here so that php should know that we are going to the next line or php is not going to know we are php is simply parsing this break tag over there which breaks to the which gives the control to the next line and this variable is printed on the next line so next more next thing is like uh, if i go and create something like a sentence 
so it is like uh, my sentence sentence Oops. if I go ahead with a single quotes and if I write something this is my this is my YouTube channel and this is my YouTube channel and you here I'll write this code book code book INC YouTube channel code book INC and you are watching PHP beginners series so if I save this thing over here and if I echo out this again with a break tag that is control C and if I paste it over here so that it doesn't mess it up and echo out this sentence dollar sentence my sentence and if I save it and hit reload we are gonna see this line is over here this is my youtube channel code book I can see you watching php beginner series so next thing is like this line is uh, I can use this line in any other programming for any other previous or as well as we can use it for another channel but this line is limited to the like code book INC so if you want to change these things change this and as well as this so we can simply by variable we can use variables over there so I will write I'll declare two variables channel name and that is code book INC and another variable will be play list name equal to php begin nurse series and if I save now I can use those variables over here instead of this which is this and this which is this so to use that we can simply write model so to use this kind of stuff in this thing we can simply write we can simply concatenate these variables over here and this is string concatenation means simply adding these variables to this string so to use concatenation we can simply write the two dots over there and whatever the variable is inside channel name and I'm gonna get rid of this PHP beginner series which is here and I want the full stop over there so do not confuse that this full stop is a part of a string so I'll simply write dollar playlist name and if I save and hit reload over on my browser I'll get the same result so this should be here I forgot to mention one more space in the sentence so now if I save and we get this thing We get the same result over here so basically i want to tell that through this video that variables are like uh, uh, it plays it acts as a container um, where we can use and reuse it again so now next thing is like i would like to just declare one more sentence that's a basic of the string we will be really covering most of the part in php string functions tutorial so let's declare one more sentence because i want to show this real quick what is the difference between a single quote string as well as double quote string so let's get started with this thing and if i say my sentence i declare this variable my sentence one and that is simply i'll clear use double quotes and this this is my youtube channel and you are watching and here i want to have my playlist name so with the double quotes we have a freedom to use those variables as it is without concatenating in that so let's go and simply write this channel name and here i'll use for a play list name and if i save it and hit reload over here sorry we have a decode it out echo my sentence 
one and if i save it and hit reload we'll see no change and this is again the same line which is print so let's to get a to get a break over there we can simply write line break over there and if i save we don't have any change these two lines are so this is a like i usually go for the double quotes strings uh, but it's up to you it doesn't matter so this is like a very basic part of the variables so now i'll be covering about the data structures so first data structure is like uh, data types and first one is like strings integers float value i'll be covering one by one in this video only uh, but for the string functions we'll go to a separate video so let's get started for the strings for integers first integers and if i echo it out over here let's say i have some variable that is called my integer and its value is five and let's give me a line break over there so we can you can write line break anywhere but i just want to go just want to write over here you can write you can use it at the end of this line also let's to make make the things consistent and if i write echo draw my integer and if i say reload it over here i'll have five over here which is the integer type value now if i put this var dump on this var dump on this variable and if i put it's a inbuilt php function which just returns the what we have in this thing so it tells that it is a type of integer which is its value is five so it's just a simply var dumping and i can use line break over here so as you know that php can be written in double quotes we can use directly variables so if i save over here we have integer over here and we also got line break there so let's go and create some more variables so it is a string type let's say i want to create my double and that is 5.6667 and if i save it and put let put on var dump on on this value var dump and if i save it over here dollar my double and if i save it and hit reload over here we have it's a float value sorry it would be a float value my float and it will be like this is a float value so php has this is php has this kind of float value now we have something called strings um, strings so as mentioned my string is a simply it consists around it can be written like this or in double quotes either in double quotes or single quotes so i will say this is my string and it basically contains sentences so if i put war dump on this thing um dollar my string and if i save and put over here reload we have a string of the character 80 so this is my string and it is also printing on it so basically war dump is a function for the php best function for the php for the beginners because it tells all about the variable whatever we have in it so it is quite helpful in debugging of the application because sometimes you want to know what kind of data structure we are dealing with we can simply put on war dump on that so let's go and create one more thing uh, like a string concatenation as discussed over here but i'll go this time in detail about that so let's say we have sentence a variable this is my sentence one and dollar sentence two and this will be one that i'll write this is my sentence 2 
um, this is, these two are sentences now I want to have one more third sentence that is called sentence 3 which is a combination of sentence 1 and sentence 2 so to add them together we'll simply use this dot operator that is for you that is used for the concatenation sentence 2 and save here and if I put uh, let me get this a break tag over here so echo if, uh, let's give it ending break tag so if I print it out and I want one more thing that is space in between these two sentences so I can simply write I can pass one more string in there and the space which is just the empty string containing one space in that so if I print it out over here sentence and this will be money sign that is dollar and if I put more temples on and echo out dollars sentence 3 and if I save look what we got this is my sentence 1 and this is my sentence 2 this is the result of this thing this is what we print echo This is my sentence one. So basically, print a command and echo command both use both does the same thing in that case. That is about the string concatenation. Now we'll discuss more about the strings in our future videos. But I wanna I wanna go to real quick. That is for about the operations in integers floats. So if I have two variables, let's say we already have these two variables over here that are my integer and my string so if I just cut it out of real quick from here and if I paste it over here that is this thing so let's go for the addition addition of two numbers and if I go and write my integer one and let's describe it my integer one and dollar my teacher two the post value is something like 43 43 and if I just want to go and add we can simply write echo dollar my integer one plus dollar my integer two if, and if I save and we get what we are we are getting as result that's the 348 because this 348 has been added together 5 and 340 3 is 348 so if I put word dump on here and let us let's store this thing this result in another variable my integer 3 and if I put more dump on it my integer 3 I forgot equal sign over there and this is a kind of debugging life I reload this gives 342 348 as an integer because these two integer values are added together and which is the result is stored in the third well third variable that is also with integer type so the resultant of this variable will be integer type now let's go ahead and do some more calculations so I'm just gonna make this float one float two and let's create another uh, float 2 that is around 5.43 something 45 something and if I just go ahead and write dollar my float 3 equal to And just put more dump on this thing again more dump on this thing yeah, that is dollar my float 3 and if I save this thing over here and I reload we are getting a resultant float value because whatever the value is in the my float 3 variable is a float type because these here we have two floats now let's do some fishy thing over adding a float 
a float value with the integer value now let's see what happens so we already have to float one float value as well as one integer value that is like my integer one so we have some dollar result that is dollar my float one plus dollar my integer one and if I put war dump on this again what we are gonna get this is a question about so result is and if I save and reload this page we are getting as a result in, as a result in the result variable is also float type because this is due to because float is a higher data structure than the integer it is a primitive because it contains float contains decimal places also as well as the resultant whatever we are gonna get from these two operations should be would be a, a float type so this is how the result resultant data structure resulted variable data structures are defined uh, so we can perform all sorts of frag all sorts of operation mathematical operations on this thing so let's go and real quick I'm gonna do some calculations so for that let's go for the steps traction for subtraction let's say result one equal to dollar my integer three equal minus dollar my integer two and if I echo out dollar result one and if I reload this thing over here, we are gonna get 5. Why we are getting 5? Because my integer 3 is not defined, I guess. Oh, let's make it my integer 2. Yeah, the answer was correct because we already have that thing. Now, my integer 2 is getting minus by my integer 1. That should be my integer 1. Now, if I reload this thing, we are getting 338. So in this way we can perform all sort of mathematical operations. Now for multiplication we can simply write dollar result result 2 equal to let's do the same thing again but with a multiple multiplication and for multiplication we use this operator and if I call the result 2 echo dollar result to and if I save and hit reload we are gonna get one seven one seven five one seven one five that is the result and an accurate result so next thing is like to do division division we can simply do the same thing again just copy it out and just paste it instead of result 3 we result 2 we will be having result 3 and for division we use this thing and if I hit reload now let's give some I want to just print this into next line so I'm gonna just copy real quick echo break line breaks so that you are not getting confused with my video and if I save now everything is in the next line so this was about division now we want to have something called getting remainders so for getting a remainder we can simply say uh, if I just copy this out real quick and just paste it over here instead of where result 3 we have result 4 and for this we use modulus operator I have forgot to put the line breaks so this gives this result 3 um, that is the remainder that is if we go and just calculate integer 2 uh, integer 2 which is divided by integer 1 which is 5 that is around 3 around, it will be the multiple of 340 so 3 will be left as remainder so this is the result that's basically about the basic mathematical operations in PHP variables so hope you like the video and give this video a thumbs up and if you tumble across this channel make sure you subscribe for more videos and please share my videos with those guys who, who want to learn this programming from scratch so that's basically